Hey y'all. Hey Red Raiders. Hey Red Raiders. It's Monsi. It's Daisy. It's George. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the first gen resources here at Texas Tech. Our personal experiences with it. And the unique opportunities available to us on campus. We hope you guys enjoy this video. And let's get on with it. Okay. So first I want to talk about what is first gen and how do you know if you're classified as a first generation student or not? Well, you're considered a first generation student if neither of your parents have acquired a four year bachelor degree in the United States. So at first I didn't think I was a first gen student because one of my parents has an associate's degree from the United States and my other parent has a bachelor degree from out of the country. So I thought that since one of them had an associate's degree from the United States, I wasn't first gen, but that's completely wrong. If neither of your parents have a bachelor degree from the United States, you're first generation. So my situation is a little bit like Mency's and I didn't think I was a first gen student because both my parents have bachelor's degrees but their degrees are from Brazil and I'm the first one in my family to ever earn a bachelor's degree here in the United States so that makes me first gen. Okay so my aunt was given legal guardianship over me and so my birth mother also doesn't have a college degree and I don't know my father. So that's kind of how I'm classified as first gen. It's because both of my parents don't have a college degree and I'm among the first generation to go to college. So yeah. And if you are a student that's just realizing that they're first gen and you're already here at Texas Tech or you're already done applying, that's okay. I didn't know I was a first gen student until I was at my orientation actually. So all you gotta do is contact undergraduate admissions at admissions at ttu.edu and all this information will be in the description so you guys can use that if you need to. So, oh, um, like I said before, my parents have bachelor's degrees in Brazil and it's actually very, very different from college here in America. Here we have a lot of majors and like career paths and like minors, minors, something that we don't have in Brazil. Um, we don't have certificates in Brazil as long as I know. <laughs> That's my experience, actually my parents' experience that they tell me and in brazil we have like a very hard set schedule in the way that like when they get into college like they have to do certain courses in certain years their first semester they have to take those courses and only like by their third or fourth year they can like choose their own electives but there are very few so it's very different than my experience here at texas tech when I got here, I was kind of lost because of it. I researched a lot online. I talked to my professors, to my advisors, and because when I got here, like I could choose to a certain range what like courses I wanted to take. So like some courses for engineering, for example, like Cal One, I, it was better for me to take this first semester and things like that. But like I could choose my own like. Um, arts requirement for example I could choose my own diverse like multicultural courses for example so we have a lot more freedom in that sense and I had the freedom to either choose to take those courses like my first semester my second semester my sophomore year junior year senior year and so on and so I was very lost in the beginning because of that and I talked a lot about with my professors about it, they were super helpful. I talked to my advisors, I researched online about people's experience and something that actually really, really helped me as a first-gen student when I got here to Texas Tech were older international students that really guided me. One of my best friends is a sophomore and she's also an international student and she helped me a lot to navigate my first year of college life, like activities, clubs, organizations, and my academic life as well and what to expect because the system here is so, so, so much different than in Brazil. We don't have like office hours. We do have like tutoring, but not to the extent that I have here. And here I felt really supported both by my professor and like older classmates and older international students they were key for me to stay here like at the beginning there were times where i questioned like what am i doing here should i go back home where it would be like so much easier but my family also really helped with this and my international friends also really helped me with this they helped me navigate through all of this and in the end i stayed and i'm 
extremely grateful that I stayed because of all of the opportunities and all of the different experiences, like academically, socially, all of the friendships that I made, all of it, like it's great. I wouldn't trade it for anything right now, but in the beginning was very hard and I appreciate so much all of the people who helped me navigate this like troubled beginning and if you're going through this right now just know that things get better and if you ever want to reach out and talk to someone my social media handles are below and you can always dm me i'm always open to it you guys can comment down below and like i'll answer you guys because i know the beginning is really 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 hard but i promise you guys that things get a lot better and that you'll enjoy your experience here so so much so for me, since my parents both had some level of college education, I sort of had some knowledge about what to expect when coming to college, but you're never going to be fully prepared for that. So it's totally normal to feel lonely or maybe have second thoughts about why you're at this specific institution or maybe you want to transfer. That's totally normal. But I encourage you and I really, really urge you to go to the different events during the welcome week here at Tech. And I also urge you to continue doing that throughout the semester just because you're not going to know everyone just by being here for the first week. It's really going to take an entire semester or an entire year to find your group of people or maybe the few people that you're going to click with. But I went to a lot of events during Welcome Week here at Tech and Texas Tech actually celebrates first gen week here. So me, George and Isadora all went to some events during this week. And that, again, is going to help you navigate the resources and the opportunities that you have here at Texas Tech, especially if you're a first-gen student. And again, just growing your circle with the amount of people that you guys know. So, yeah. Okay. Hey, Redditor. Right so, I think one of, like, the big checkpoints being first-gen is probably applying for college. And for me, my rock and the person I can give so much credit to is my older sister. She is about to graduate from here in the spring, so I'm so happy for her. But she really just helped me and I saw how much struggle she went through. Being first generation also, like her college application process and how difficult it was for her to figure out financial aid and to figure out applying for college and honestly what she wanted to do. And I know it was a struggle to out all on your own. And my sister really helped me with that. But I got to see how Texas Tech University pursued her and made her feel really comfortable, made it seem easy. And so this past spring, I got to go to her ring ceremony. And I just remember the saying in my mind, from here it's possible. Like literally, I don't know. I just, I fell in love with that because it doesn't tell you where here is. It doesn't say a requirement, but it just says it's possible. And that's just so relieving to feel that like I'm supported and that I have a school that is pursuing me and it really makes me happy. Like, I don't know, I don't really feel that too much different about like being a first generation student here at Texas Tech. Just because everyone that I've met is just really hardworking and a lot of great people. So, um, yeah. With that being said, while everyone's experiences and personal backgrounds might be different, there's always a place for you here at Texas Tech and you definitely won't feel alone. First generation students actually make up 25 to 30% of the student body population. So again, you're never gonna be alone. There's always people here to back you up and resources to help you navigate your college experience. Also the division of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and the first gen transition and mentoring programs are also here to aid you guys. And right now we're going to be talking a little bit about some of the programs that they have available specifically for first generation students. Other thing that was really helpful for me were the events hosted by the International Cultural Center. I don't know if you guys know this, but like before class start, Texas Tech hosts an uh, international student orientation. So it's just for us international students. And like they help us with a ton of things like our visas, what we can and cannot do, what are the rules here at Texas Tech, what are the laws of the United States that might be very different from back home. They help us navigate the health system here in the US, like health insurance and all that kind of thing, which I'm really grateful for. I was so lost when I got here and they really went with us through like those step by step. They brought in like upperclassmen and even like recent graduates from Texas Tech that were international students to talk to us about their experience and to help us guide us. They are the global guides and they helped us with like bank stuff, um, all of those little details that can add up real quick. And then the second day of the international orientation, 
we had like a campus tour where we literally walked across all campus to help us understand the buildings and where everything was and then when the school started they hosted like a tailgate before the first football game where we went and like we ate and we talked with people they really were there to help us and like show what life here in america is like and if we ever have like any difficulties we have our, our own international advisor that we can like email we can like meet with them that was also really good and for the first time i was on my own and i was really an adult and it can be very confusing especially if you're on another country and you're the first in your family to come here to america everything is so different than what my parents went through what my grandparents went through so like, really helped in that sense the first program i want to talk about is the first generation transition and mentoring program and that's where first generation students will fill out an application talking about their interests and their backgrounds and then you're going to get paired with a mentor and that's basically an upperclassman or a graduate student that's also a first generation student and so you get paired with them and you can meet up as many times as you want it could be once a month it could be every week depending on your schedule but you meet up with them and they can help you navigate your college life and maybe make that transition a little bit easier for you guys as long as you're a first generation student you can apply and you will get matched with someone and maybe if you continue the program and you find out it's something that's not very useful and it's not very helpful to you you can drop out at any time that you need but if you decide that you're going to stay into this program and you find it very useful, there are two small requirements that you need to fulfill. And the first one is that you have to meet your mentor at least three times. And the second one is you have to attend at least two first gen sponsored events. And there's a wide variety of free resources and first gen programs that are sponsored throughout the entire year. So meeting that two event criteria will not be hard at all. So for example, I went to a resume and cover letter review session where they taught you how to write your resume and you could actually meet one-on-one -on -one with some of the people from the career and writing center and they can look over your resume and your cover letter and help you edit it and furnish it up for whenever you need it. Another thing that I also thought was interesting is that they had a LinkedIn webinar. So a lot of the times they'll hold some events over Zoom. So even if you can't make it there on person, you can just join online, which is something that's been really useful. We have extended scholarship opportunities. So if you're very involved involved with all things first generation and you use all the resources and the opportunities that's available to you guys then there are scholarship opportunities available just for first generation students so if you're struggling and you think you need some help i highly encourage you guys to participate in the first gen resources and programs they have here at tech because you can apply to those scholarships and that's going to be super helpful in the long run So another great resource that Tech offers for us first gen students here is the McNair Scholars Program. If you are interested in pursuing like graduate school or if you want to get a PhD or a career in like research and academia, and this program is something that you should definitely look into it. It's an undergraduate research opportunity specifically for first gen students with financial need or historically underrepresented groups in higher education. You can do research within this program with any major, like it's not major restricted. You can do research with literally any major that you have. And there are two applications, which is this Explorer application and the Scholars application. The Explorers program is for freshmen and sophomore, and it introduces you to undergraduate research and in this program, you will work with a mentor and get exposed and experience what graduate school will look like and how to prepare for the application process. So that's really cool. Here at Readers, November 7th through November 12th was First Generation Week, and so there was a lot of activities and seminars going around on campus. We got a gift from the Law School Admission Center, and then we also got a free t-shirt, and then there was also a lot of like seminars with other first generation resources and first generation stories, so it was a really fun week. Um, they're giving it out in the admissions office, but where? Oh my gosh. Okay, 
you. Hey, Red Raiders! <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear us, but here are t-shirts. Yay! They're so cute. <laughs> yeah, true. But yeah, these are shirts. They're pretty cute. Yeah, so yeah. Woohoo! I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found some of the resources and tips that we shared useful. Again, if you guys have any questions, you can either DM us like Izzy said, or you can comment them down below and we'll respond to them as soon as we can. But other than that, make sure to subscribe and come back every Tuesday and Thursday for our videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye.